Welcome back. As I've mentioned at the end of the last video, there's some more changes going on in here. So I thought I would just give a little tour uh, and let you know what's going on. So as you can see, this is all such a massive, massive mess and the shelf is in the way. And that is mostly because we have totally changed what under here looks like. It is all drawers now. And the purpose of that is for this level of organization. Right? We've mostly done red so far, just to kind of get a sense of how much we can squeeze in here. And we have done some other colors, just a little bit. Obviously still very much a work in progress. And I just want to shout out this YouTube creator right here. I actually don't know if I've ever heard him say his name out loud in the couple of videos I've watched. So I don't know how to pronounce it. But to summarize, he was saying that these are cumbersome, like pulling out each individual one and you don't fit as much in the same amount of space. Whereas this is an extremely efficient use of space. So that's what's going on down there. And now I gotta figure out where all this stuff goes. Luckily, some of it will be empty very, very soon. Like this bin here is almost done. I might just transfer it to a smaller bin just to see the space clear up. And then some of this is, you know, stackable with other of, of these drawers. So if this thing wasn't here, I could just stack the drawers and the bins over there. And it wouldn't be ideal situation, but it'd be more ideal than what is currently happening. So I think I'm gonna start working on that right now. We got these bulk minifigure parts that need to get put away somewhere. Look at that, three shelves empty already. I mean, this is worse now. But this is better. Ah, there we go. Oh. Well, I was able to get it out and start clearing some stuff over there. I got some space over here to store some stuff. I think some stuff's gonna have to go back to my storage unit. But we have enough room to update this. So let's do that real quick. Actually, I can't get to my computer, so hold on. There we go. $98 raised for charity, 576 YouTube subscribers, 20.3 TikTok, clones haven't changed, Imperials haven't been able to start yet, and of course we changed this to our total gross sales for the year, and as soon as uh, we're in February officially, we will do that number and talk about it. In the meantime, back to what we were doing. So these two bins right here are my bulk bins that I sell by the weight. These two need to be sorted because I know you can see this part of a starfighter right there. And I'm fairly certain it's in there somewhere. So I haven't been keep and filter for parts, as it says. There's the red bin I just emptied. Somehow I gotta get this all to fit in here. I guess, I mean, I guess one of these could go back to storage because I can only work on one at a time, right? While not 100% functional, this is beginning to look walkable. I think it was a couple videos ago at this point, but as I've been putting stuff away, I've been looking for stuff for this. It came out of, uh, actually came out of one of those. And I've just been following the instructions. Only thing missing right now is a dark red cone, but otherwise complete. Just thought that was cool. Alrighty, again, not ideal, but at least now we can walk in here without having to shimmy and shake. Most everything here I don't access too often, slash stuff can easily be slid out so I can grab it. Uh, yeah, I need to pack up those two things and then I need to list a bunch of stuff. Just a whole, whole bunch. The next day. Good afternoon, happy Tuesday. So I've been spending most of my time sorting and cleaning up, so I don't have much to report on. Um, I do have a couple non-Lego items going out that I can show you, but this video is gonna be a shorter video for, for sure. So first up, I guess this is relevant. 
because these came out of the Lego bin. Uh, they're like little Ghostbuster, Ghostbuster, Ghostbuster figures. So, you know, if you find stuff in Lego bins that's not Lego, you can still sell it. Uh, this, even for its horrible condition, it sold very, very fast. I did price it super low, so I'm sure that's part of it. Somebody sent an offer for 20 bucks on this. Again, really bad condition. I'm sure it could go for a lot more. Um, was this in the video already? That sold. And then, this sold as well. It's a very cool figure. Okay, I'm not gonna dwell too long on this because still got a lot of cleaning and sorting to do. Oh, so. Thanks for watching, hit that like and subscribe button, and hopefully uh, by the time we do another one of these, this will look much nicer.